and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show how to use RabbitMQ with Node.js. So we will create two applications, one for sending messages to RabbitMQ and one for receiving messages from RabbitMQ. First, we will need, I'll create the two applications with Node.js and Express, and this is just standard applications, one for send messages and one for receive messages. They will be running on different ports. And we will need for thing to install amqp node client for JavaScript. Already run them here with command npm install amqp library lib and do this for both applications. And now we can write, let's start with send. First we will need to get the library for amqp. So we we'll need callback API, and now we can use it. First, we create connection to Rabbit. We specify URL. I is running on standard port. So we can just say. AMQP is local host. Then specify callback. So we will set up connection. So we use this connection to create channel. specify callback then we will create uh, specify our queue we we'll call just whatever we want first queue then we will define our message we want to send, for example, something like JSON like this. Next, we will assert queue existence. And then we can send to specific queue and we will send message create buffer from our message but it's json so we need to modify to string We also can log it to our console. That message was sent. And 
and then we can close connection with some timeout. Saying connection close and the exit process. I think we're good now. Can try to send it to Rabbit. I have their management UI open for Rabbit in queue. Currently, there is no queues. Let's try to run our send application. So it says message was sent. Let's go back and. We have here a message. Let's get let's look at it. So here we will go. The message that we sent exactly what we sent. And now we can create our consumer or receiver. Okay, we get the same. We will get library. And then we will also need create connection. So I'll just copy this code and modify it. To make it faster. So we will. Don't need message since we consume it, but we also will set up connection. We create in queue because if queue doesn't exist, so then consumer will create this queue and wait for messages in, in it. So we will need a sort queue. Also, connect here uh, console log saying that we're waiting for messages to appear in, into this queue. Then instead of sending to queue, we consume it from queue, so it will be consumed. So we will specify which queue and specify callback, which will be message. And we will have Answer log Oops. We actually won't need this timeout because we not closing connection, we waiting all the time. So we consume something and then we log in the console. Received and get a message.
content specify here no no acknowledgement So far, receiver and try it. So, and we have here first we were waiting for messages and we received. And if we go back to rabbit, there is will be nothing in our queue because it was consumed. And now we can just run it. If you run in again our update sense messages, it will be sending and oops, what did we do? Use let's change port. Probably didn't stop it correctly, so now it's in use. But open post console, so in running send messages, it sends and immediately the second time it consumes. So, here how you use Node.js with RabbitMQ. Thanks for watching, leave your comments likes and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and see you in my next video bye